Okay, children, what can you see here in the picture? Yes, we have socks and shoes. Very good. Okay, before we go to school, we first get dressed up. So when we dress up, what do you put on first? Your socks or your shoes? Yes, most of you answered. You put on socks first before your shoes. Okay, why is that? Yes, it would be funny to wear your socks outside your shoes. Yes, very good. Yes, it is essential that before we wear our shoes, we put on first our socks. Because if we wear our socks after we wear our shoes, that would be hilarious, right? Yes, okay. So, we wear it like this one here. We wear it like this. Yeah. So, as you can see here, the foot first wears the sock before wearing the shoe. Okay. So, just like in real life and in math, we follow or do things in a certain order to make sure they turn out right. Okay. In class today, we will be discussing about orders of operations involving yes addition and subtraction very good so does anyone of you here know how to add and subtract yes very good everyone already knows how to add and subtract that's good okay for our objectives i want you to read this with me okay so after our lesson, I want everyone to accomplish these objectives for the betterment of everyone. Okay, very good. Okay, first, let's read. Objectives. Yes, very good. So here, at the end of the lesson, I want everyone to identify the answers of an equation involving addition and subtraction through an activity so as we go on with our lesson you will perform activities that will enable you to do order of operation with addition and subtraction okay second objective performs order of operation involving addition and subtraction through answering math problems okay as we go on with our lesson again we will be dealing with math problems that you will be able to perform okay very good so for our last objective we have work cooperatively with classmates through answering group activity so, at the end of this lesson, I want you to work with your classmates or your friends to answer different activities, okay? Am I understood? Yes, very good. So, our topic is about order of operation. So, what is this order of operation? I think everyone is very curious about this one, okay? So, these orders of operations, these are like rules, so just like here in our school or here specifically in our classroom, we have rules. Why do we have rules? Yes, to be harmonious. Yes, to follow order. Yes, very good. Okay, we follow those rules to have a certain order. So these orders of operation, these are rules that states that in mathematics, there is orders. So these orders follow a sequence. So when we do math, there is a sequence that we follow in answering different operations in an equation that we are solving. Okay, understand? Okay, again, understand? Yes, very good. So we follow an order to solve different 
math problems or equations. Again, if we follow the rules of order of operation when answering different equations, then everyone will arrive at the same answer, okay? Understand? Yes, very good. So now I will show you a mnemonics. Here. So please read everyone. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, it reads here that please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Very good. Okay, what can you observe with this mnemonics? Anyone? Yes, Sheila. Yes, the capital letters are it. Bold letters. Very good. Okay, you may now see Sheila. Thank you. Okay, so these capital letters here, they are called mnemonics. So these letters here in bold letters represent expressions or operations. So we will focus here in Aunt Sally because our topic is about addition and subtraction in orders of operation. So this A here stands for addition and this S here stands for Subtraction. Again, what does this A stands for? Addition. Very good. S. Yes, subtraction. Good. Okay, so just remember this one. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, remember Aunt Sally, okay? Okay, very good. Okay, in answering order of operations involving addition and subtraction we need to answer which comes first so our order or our sequence of operations is from what we need to follow left to right okay to follow from left to right okay so if we have equations, we need to follow first the equation on the left, then to the right. So we have an example here. Before we begin, I want you to remember that whether it is addition or subtraction, what comes first on the left to right, we will solve it first. Okay, again, what comes first to the left to right? We will solve it first, whether it is addition or subtraction. Okay, very good. So we have an example here. We have 5 plus 12 minus 6. So what is it again that we need to remember? The rule of order of operation. What comes first on the left to right? We need to solve it first. So what is the first operation that we need to solve on the left side? Yes, we have addition. So in order for us to answer that one, I will first hide the subtraction here. Okay. Hide it first. So our first thing that we need to do is, first thing that we need to do is to add this one. So we have 5 plus 12 plus 12. Okay. Okay, let's answer everyone, okay? So we have, okay, 5 plus 2. Yes. Okay, let's count. 5, 6, 7. Okay, very good. We have 7. Okay, bring down one because there is no other number above it. Okay, very good. Okay, since we're done with our addition, this is the answer for our addition, then let's proceed to the second operation. What is the second operation? Yes, yeah, subtraction. Okay, wait. 
just open this. So we're done there. Our second operation is subtraction. So we have here the sum of 5 and 12. We have 17. So after that, we have 17. Okay. We subtract it with, yes, very good, 6. Okay, subtract. So, we have 7 minus 6. Yes, 1. Very good. Okay, since there's, there is no number below it, we bring down 1. So, what number we have as our answer? Yes, we have... 11. Okay, very good. I have here the answer. Yeah. It is right? Yes, we are right. We have 11 as our answer. Okay, did you all get it? Okay. Yes, very good. Some said yes. Okay. Let's have another example, okay? For our next example, we have 10 minus... 5 plus 22. Okay, what is our rule again? We need to solve first the equation on the left to right. So what is the first equation here? What is the first operation that we have here? Yes, we have subtraction. So we will subtract first. So we need to hide this one first so that you won't be confused. Okay, so we have 10 minus 5. So, what we have here? 10 minus 5. So, how many did you get? So, we have, let's cross this one. It's going to be 10. Cross this one, it's going to be 0. Okay. So, we have 10. Okay. We remove, we have 10 fingers, okay? We remove 5 fingers. One, two, three, four, five. So how many fi fingers left? Okay, five. Very good. Have five. So our answer here, the difference of ten minus five is five. So let's proceed to the next operation. Have here. So we have five as our answer here. We, what is this operation? Yes, addition. 5 plus 22. So let's solve it here. 5 plus 22. Okay. What answer we have? Okay, let's have this one. 5 plus 2 here. We have 7. Very good. Since there's no number above it, we bring down... Two. Good. So what number we have here as a final answer? We have 27. Very good. Okay, let's see if it is right. Oh, yes, it is right. We have 10 minus 5 plus 22 is equal to 27. Same as our answer here, our solution. Yes, very good. Did you all get it? Did you all understand? Yes, very good. So are you ready for an activity? Not yet. Yes. No. Since we're done with this and I think everyone understands. Did you all understand? Okay, yes. Okay. Since you all understand our topic for today, we will do a group activity. So you will do this by group. Okay. Again, how are we able to get the answer by following order of operation? Yes, we will be able to get the answer by moving from left to right and answer first the operation on the left then to the right, whether it is addition or subtraction. Okay, understand? Yes, very good. Now, let's proceed to our activity. So for your group activity, I will divide the class into five groups, okay? Understand? Yes. So let's start counting from here. Okay, continue. Okay. Since you're all in your group with your group mates, then I will 
give the instruction. Okay, listen carefully, okay? So, I will give each group this answer sheet. So, you will have this as your answer sheet. Then, at the back, you will put the names of your members, okay? So, what you're going to do is, I will read the instruction here. So, together with your group mates, solve the following equations and write your answers in the blank provided. So, we have here 10 items since you are 8 in your groups, on each group. So, you will make sure that everyone participates, okay? Okay, then you answer this from 1 to 10. And then after answering this one, follow the instruction here that you will put the answer on the blank provided. So, just remember to follow the rule of order of operations involving addition and subtraction that we did. Okay, so after putting your answers on the blank provided, after answering, so encircle the number of your answers in the chart provided below. So, this is an example of a chart. So, if for example, your answer is 35, let's say your answer in number 1 is 35. So, you will encircle 35. But make sure that 35 is on the number 1 block provided, okay? Put 35 here in the block, okay? You have 35 here in the block and encircle the 35 here. So, for example, again, in number 2, if your answer is, let's say, your answer is 13. So, you put 13 first here, then encircle here the 13 and here in this in this chart provided okay did you all understand yes very good okay i will give you uh eight minutes to do the activity okay okay for your individual activity i will give you an activity sheet so we have here a and b so for a what you need to do is identify the answer to the following equations and encircle the letter of the correct answer so we have here one two five so after you answer this one you need to find your answer on the letters provided and encircle it okay you need to solve it first okay to find the answer you identify the answer on the letters okay on letter B, answer the following and write the correct answer on the block provided inside the circle. So when you answer 1 to 5, then you need to put the answer inside the circle because there's also a number in here from 1 to 5. Okay, am I understood? Yes, very good. Okay, here. So if you're done with your activity sheets, you may now pass it forward. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, what I want you to do is to get your assignment notebook and write what I'm going to say for your assignment, okay? Please? Okay. So, for your assignment, I want you to list different things that you see needs to be in order or things that needs a sequence, like in our environment or we when we eat food, what should we do first or when we wake up what should we do first the order of things that we do at home is like that okay you understand so some examples of it are when we wake up what should we do first we brush our teeth or we take a bath first or when we eat what should we put first on our cereal is it the cereal itself or we put first the milk Okay, that kinds of order. So, I put a number there, number one. So, is it milk or cereal? Or number number two example is we take a bath first or we brush our teeth. Just like examples in our surroundings or what we do in the morning. Okay, understand? So, just list uh, anything that seems that needs a sequence or needs to be in order, Okay. Understand? Yes, very good. Okay. Since there is not enough time, I want everyone to clean your table and put your things on your bags. Okay? okay. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Okay. Don't forget your assignment, okay?